tonight. From Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. As we'll see Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles taking on Cooper Rush and the Dallas Cowboys. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store between the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the former Cornhusker, Brett Maher, to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And the opening kickoff will not be returned, as that will be a touchback. Now, for the first time, we get to see this Philadelphia offense led out by their dual-threat quarterback now in his third season, Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts got the green light as a starter from the Philly organization and took really good steps as the next in line of mobile quarterbacks in the city, following names like Michael Vick, Donovan McNabb, and Randall Cunningham. He led the team in all quarterbacks in the NFL in rushing, and he took Philadelphia to the postseason while throwing for over 3,000 yards. Hurts throwing right away. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Dallas Goddard really flourishes Philadelphia's unquestioned number one tight end. He's a big time field stretcher for first time starter Jalen Hurts and averages second most yards per reception among tight ends in the league. Won't hurt his average there with that first down pickup. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Miles Sanders first carry of the game. That's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. Right back to Sanders on first down. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Throwing his hurts. And this is caught by Watkins. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that one or what? <laughs> they got into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense, but if that's your win, you're not doing very well right now. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, a 21-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. 
And maybe the defense got so caught up in him throwing the football, they forgot he can take off, too. And you often hear about the quarterback being the unaccounted for guy as a runner. Well, even on a passing play, he's unaccounted for as a runner, and he turned it into a nice game. A very nice run, and it turns in to six points. And that flag accepted. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. So here now the Cowboy offense on the field to get their first crack at it. They'll be commanded by their 6'3 quarterback from Central Michigan, Cooper Rush. And there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building. Potential. They are sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, there are plenty around the league who think that as well. And years from now, he can still be leading this offense out. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as the tackle made at about the 38. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. Now they'll run on the draw. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. And this one quickly to Lamb. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 33. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They go to Elliott again. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 52 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, a new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Second and goal from the one. Back to throw Rush. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Now we've got third and goal coming up. And couldn't you imagine being in that huddle, partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three.
Three tight ends up front here. Third and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Xander Horvath taking it in from a yard out. And the Cowboys respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Well, nothing complicated about that. That's old school power football. And effective. And that's the key to everything, right? Sometimes we try and do too many things. Just hand it to the big guy and let him go forward. Brett Maher on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Here's Hurts to throw. He's going to drop this down to Sanders, and he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Do you remember in preseason we were going to the different training camp? And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. I really like what he did there because he took his practice work and converted it to game action because he used his hands, got off the block, worked laterally, and stayed to the outside and finished off the runner for a loss. Airing it out deep for Smith. And got his man complete. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. Goes right back to Smith again. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Seven, seven, our score after one. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one-yard line. Another run with Sanders. And he will take this one in for an eagle touchdown. Miles. 
Miles Sanders taking it in from four yards out. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. the touchdown here's Elliott on to kick it away and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25 Zeke and the Cowboys ready to begin their next drive and I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit he's he's been great but they haven't scored a lot of points I think they still have to show him as a threat make sure he touches it a few times but as you pointed out Use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? A big play there on the catch and run. 46 yards. It's not a surprise when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. Rush's throw there, caught by Gallup. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. And oh, it's complete. What a catch at the seven. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. Partner, there's no other way you could describe it because that was absolutely just gut-wrenching for that offense. They were right on the precipice. Points were available. All they had to do was just fall forward, and they were going to put them up on the board. Instead, a long drive ends in heartbreak and a melancholy trip back to the drawing board. I like it when I go a little bit lyrical for you. Second down, back to Sanders. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Another run here with Sanders. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Here comes Sanders on the toss right. And some room to roam now. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45 yard line. 73 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. It's a four-yard pick up there, and it leaves him with third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Hurts. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Here 
Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Dallas offense set for this next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. When the Dallas Cowboys traded Amari Cooper, it was certainly a sign of the faith that they have in Michael Gallup to step up and be that type of weapon across from C.D. Lamb. He hit 1,100 yards back in 2019, but missed half of And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. A big play here for Dallas. 53 yards. I don't think we'll ever get enough of watching one-handed catches, and when they pay off, they are spectacular. But how about the times they don't pay off and coaches go, two hands, two hands still works. <laughs> I know, but they, they go for them so often now that I'm almost starting to take them for granted. Yeah, that's unbelievable, isn't it? Because these are sensational type plays. Especially that one with a defender right there. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And they'll get this from the 8 to the 5. Pick up a 3. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make... And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Cooper Rush, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from evening this one up. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And we are tied at 14. Five plays there on that drive. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. So now the possession will begin at the 35 after the errant kickoff. Well, that's certainly one way to avoid a dangerous kick returner, I suppose. But you are giving up extra yardage, that's for sure. Because if you put it at... Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. 74 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Again, it's Elliott. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. The offense on third down tonight, a perfect four for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 
That good for 19 at a first down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Cowboys have broken the tie. Marr now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. A drive that time of six plays, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. <laughs> Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. On first and 10, it's Hurts. It's caught by Sanders. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. They'll drop to throw. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. To throw on second and ten. Hurts. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. Back to throw here. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll look to throw again. Fires the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we reach halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. 
Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. and 10 and they've got three tight ends out there a jumbo package look left side to lamb and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 just his second catch of the game so far this one moves the chains that looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do you just put the ball on him and then let him run yeah, he's got some space Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now it's the backup, Prescott. Another one to CeeDee Lamb. He's got it. 20, 10, 5. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And it's picked up by the Eagles. It's not often that we see big plays end in disaster. And we just absolutely saw it right there. They had something really big cooking on that one. Can you? When you're down near the goal line like that on a big play, do you get maybe a little too careless, a little too desperate for the goal line? I think the last part is exactly right. You get desperate for the goal line, and sometimes you get the ball out of hip away from your body, or you're trying to extend to get there, or maybe you're just trying so hard that the ball will come out of your hands. In any event, that's a big opportunity lost. Throwing again on second and ten. Hurts. And this one complete to Smith. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. But first down, Hurts. He's got his target. That's Zach Pascal. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it'll be second down. They go play action with Hurts. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 39. Nice 
Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 25-yard line. Running right, here's Sanders. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Micah Parsons, the linebacker, in on the tackle. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action, but other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Looking to throw. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles have retaken a third quarter lead. And now it's blocked. That's a live ball scooped up by the offense. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. Following the botch PAT, they're set to kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. Charles, you've got to think the number one goal here is ball security. Remember last drive, they coughed it up. Then they allowed the touchdown, and now they're trailing on the scoreboard. Boy, the way you described it makes me think that that one actually hurt them three times. The fumble cost them potential points. Then they watched their opponent get a touchdown off of the fumble. And third, they lost the lead as a result. Really tough sequence right there. I don't think coaches have to remind them to hold on to the football. They've just got to find a way to get it done. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. A 20th carry here for Elliott. Tackle there by big Jordan Davis. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. It's a gain of just a couple there, but it's enough to get them the first. On the counter, Elliott. 136 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. 
So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. Inside give to Elliott. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Only gets a yard, but it's enough to set him up first and goal. Now Elliott. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. Dancing to his left. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Defensively by now, you know his ability. You know he has it in him to take off and run. Yeah, because they knew coming into this game, but we've already seen examples in this contest that he can run the football. I think they're going to examine different ways to rush him now. Is it, Are they going to do it with different lanes? Are they going to use a spy? But they have to come up with options because right now, he's hurting them. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Takes it at the 7. A lane opens here. He's past the 30. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he'll get about three up close to the 35. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The safety blitz stays to perfection that time as they sack him for a loss of six. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. This is taken at the 18. It'll wind up being a net of 41. Nine-yard return, 50 on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want a carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but... We know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. On second and nine, Prescott. And, oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. On third down, Elliott. And they'll get this across the midfield stripe, but still winding up short of the first down. A good pick up there, seven yards, but it brings up fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. 
Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Here's Brian Anger now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game. But this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term, complimentary football. Because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. This is third and eight. He'll drop to throw, and that is incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch. Is the arm there? The leg's still there. This has been a tough game. And they'll get to this and touch it. Looks like, yeah, right at the 15-yard line here. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 15. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Now rush, and that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Now a hit and a loose football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it, he loses it, somehow the ball finds his way back to him. A tone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. they got to go thank the guys on D. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. 
And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front that's prepared for him to try and take off. Coming up on second and seven. He'll look to throw. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. Now back to throw. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolutely... And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch. Do you have one of those charts that tells you to go for two or go for one? I don't. I know you do. But I don't care what the chart says there. you got to kick it, right? I, I agree totally because somewhere the chart's going to... Something's going to pop out of the chart and say, hey, man... Just kick the extra point here. You're in good shape. I think they were chasing points there when they didn't need to. Yeah, try to get a little bit greedy. Take the lead in the fourth quarter. Now they still trail by one. And they'll get him down right around the 25. Actually, the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. The throw over the middle taken in. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. And that'll be incomplete. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. If it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's Rush to throw. And this one nearly picked off. Well, kind of surprising to see defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incomplete. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Cowboys answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on. 
on to their fourth quarter lead. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get it intercepted, it's returned by the defense, that's two points for them. But he identified an open target and put it right on him. Well, now how about this return? And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Hurts throw there, taken in by Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They're going to look to throw. He's got Dallas Goddard. His tight end over the middle. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 31-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Back to throw again. Oh, no, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left, as they call the timeout defensively. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They go to Elliott again. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Dallas. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Hurts and the Eagles now down by seven. A minute 40 remaining. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and ten. They'll look to throw. Oh, Brown, a nice catch. And they're able to get this one across the 35. He'll look to throw. Hurts fumbles it. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. And they were hoping to get down there, get the score, and get this thing into overtime. How deflating. Absolutely. I mean, let's face it, heartbreaking. They had an opportunity, had a chance, and probably were feeling pretty good about what was going on, and that was taken away from them by their own mistake. Yeah, the opportunity squashed. We'll see what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to get a first down. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to perhaps salt this one away. And that is...
is not going to get there. Oh, he missed it short. It's no good, and this will remain a one-touchdown game. Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. They're looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily when you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. He's back to throw. Finding Watkins. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw. That swung out wide to Sanders. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Second and six. Back to throw. He's going to float this over the middle deep. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Now one more shot at it. Obviously, again, they've got to go for the end zone. Well, we've seen it happen before. How about Aaron Rodgers throughout his career? He seems to pull it off about every other week. But if I'm the defense, I'm rushing the quarterback and making him move away from his throwing arm. That makes it a little bit tougher to get it downfield. He's going to take another shot here. Oh, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to hang on on the final play. They get the turnover to seal this football game. Was close throughout remember it was neck and neck at intermission neck and neck at the end but a great job to come in here in a tough environment Charles and get the victory yeah tough environment indeed how about all the people we can hear shouting from their seats right below us partner they weren't real happy that their team didn't keep the home field how about how these visitors came in calm every step of the way even with all the pressure and found a way to get out of here with a win So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Philadelphia, good night, everybody.